Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you. I, I'm i going to create a card and also an art journal page with these sets from the Hedgehog Hollow. The book sets are from the brand new January kit, and that Forest Friends set here, the one with the bear that I'm going to use, is from the December kit. And as you can see, this book that, this stack of books that I cut out was a little bit too tall for those bears. So I'm going to create a card with the smaller set of books and this art journal page for the larger set of books that I've already stamped. Now I've had a lot of questions about some things that have happened in my life recently, which I decided to go ahead and share in this video. So I wanted to warn you before we get into more of this, that this is going to be a little bit of an emotional video. I'm going to talk a little bit about my father's death, uh, some of the things that happened, and share with you some personal stories as well, because art journaling and card making and creating is actually a form of healing. It can be very healing, and so today that's what I'm going to talk about. So even though I do have sunshine in my pocket, I also have times when Life just kind of throws me down on the ground, takes my breath away, makes it difficult, and that's what happened. So before I get into that, I just wanted to warn you, if you don't want to hear about any of that, then please don't watch the rest of this video, or you can just not listen to it and you can watch the projects without the sound, and that way you can see how this all turns out and how great it can be to create a card and an art journal together. So I'm going to get into it now. First of all, let me tell you what I'm doing. This dictionary is one that actually my dad gave me specifically for making cards. He says, you can cut this up. This is an older dictionary. There, there are brand new versions now. So he gave me this one to use for my projects and my journals if I wanted to. So that's what this is for. It is specifically for my card making and it makes me even happier to know that it is from my dad. My dad was a book collector. He loved books. He actually wrote a number of books while he was alive. He wrote seven books to be exact, mostly about estate planning, living trusts, which is what he was. He was an estate planning attorney and also about the founding fathers and about the trial of Christ and some things like that. So he loved books, which is why I love books and which is why he had lots of extra books to give to me. For this project, I chose some pages, one that says love on it, and one that says father. And I thought those would be appropriate for this project today. I'm just going to use, now I am out of multimedia matte, matte medium to attach these. I'm just using a glue stick today. So if you're out of, of items and you don't know, just use what you have because this is all about expressing yourself and making yourself feel a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my glue stick here just to glue those on and that, that's, it's gonna be great. For those of you that don't know, my dad passed away from COVID and COVID related complications the day after Christmas, 2020. And the reason this video is so important to me is I just wanted to share a few of my thoughts about that. The thing that I hate the most is that when he went into the hospital, my mom took him in with my sister. He wasn't breathing very well and he was scared. And I hate thinking about that. We thought that he would go to the hospital, he would get some help to be able to breathe, and he would come back home and he would be fine. But he was in the ICU for two weeks, he was on a ventilator, and he never came home. He developed pneumonia while he was at the hospital, and because of these times, we were not allowed to go visit him. He was alone. I am so grateful, though, because he had a really fantastic nurse who was there with him when he passed. She held his hand. She told him that his family loved him. And he passed peacefully on December 26th, 2020, at 5.11 p.m. They say that when you lose a loved one, the hardest part is all the firsts 
that happen, the first things that happen. The very next day was my parents' 52nd anniversary. So my mom has already gone through an anniversary without him. We've already experienced our first Christmas without him because he was in the hospital. And this year, I'm sure more things will hit me. So honestly, I am a grown woman and I still cry for my dad. I have cried every day since Christmas Eve when we found out that he was not going to make it. His favorite animal was a bear. So he collected bears and every year for his birthday, I made him a bear card. Every year for Father's Day, I made him a bear card. Every year, whenever I needed a card for him, a get well card or anything, it would be with a bear on it. So that's why this project is so close to my heart. It's got bears and books. And the only thing that it's missing is chocolate. He loved chocolate also and Snoopy. Speaking of Snoopy, when I started making cards a number of years ago, my dad was always very supportive of me. He loved my cards. In fact, he started making me cards right back. He would draw Snoopy. He learned how to draw Snoopy and Peanuts characters just with like a pencil and he'd use colored pencils to color them in and he'd just use like regular computer paper. He'd draw them and he would make me a card and send it to me and it was probably one of the sweetest memories to have these cards. Of course I kept them all. I keep all the cards that anyone ever sends me because that's how much I adore a handmade card but especially a Snoopy hand-drawn card by my dad. I love them. So they say that art is therapy, card making is therapy. So as a part of my healing, I have a project ongoing that I am going to make my dad 74 cards for every year that he was old this year. And that will help me a lot. I have asked all my card making friends to help me with this so that I can get this done this year because if I try to make 74 bear cards. I think it would take me pretty much forever. I would have to make probably two a week to get it done this year and that's pretty near impossible for me since I have some other obligations and of course work. So if you want to join in and help me to make bear cards for dad then please do make a bear card. If you're on Instagram then use the hashtag bear cards for dad and tag me. I'll list all that information here on the screen and I would really love it. And if you want to help me get to my goal of 74 bear cards this year, then that would be super awesome. All right. I have no idea how long I have been droning on, but let's get back to the project. Here's our background that we did with the book of the dictionary from my dad. And now I'm going to pile up all the books around him, kind of lay them down here, just see how it would, it's going to go. And look how cute that bear is nestled in between all of those books. To sort of frame the scene out, I'm going to take this cross stitch rectangle die and a regular rectangle die in the middle to create a frame. And I'm going to make it in to brown to match that brown bear. And then I'm going to use the sentiment from Love You and just stamp it in black over some blue paper. I am using my Copic marker here that I use to color the bear and the cups. And I'm just creating a background so that I can stamp that right on top. So here it is. And now I'm just going to cut that out to fit right here on the top. I've cut all around the edges. And now to create the flag banner portion, I cut a little slit up the center. And now I'm cutting from the corner to that center mark where I cut that slit to create this sort of flag banner. And I'll trim that up so it's perfect. I'm gonna take my blue Copic marker and just mark the word love. So that stands out on the background of the card. And now I'll pop some of those books up with foam tape. The ones in the back I glued down directly with liquid adhesive. And for the frame, I'm going to pop that up with foam tape as well, just using this skinny foam tape. And I'll try to get that straight there on the card. It did give me a little bit of a problem there, but it's okay, not too bad. And we'll just finish up the card now by adding the rest of the elements. I'm going to add a few highlights with a white gel pen. 
and then a little bit of glossy accents on his nose and on the hot cocoa in that mug there. My dad loved hot cocoa, so that's what this is here. I love how the books are kind of falling over a little bit. They're stacked a little too high. This looks exactly like a card my dad would love. Now to finish the art journal piece, I have some distress paint here, and I'm just gonna paint a little bit on this background. My gesso finally dried out after 20 plus years of having that stuff. So I don't have any gesso, so I'm just doing this direct to the paper here from the dictionary, and it worked out just fine. Added a few different colors here and there, some bundled sage. I wanted to make sure that the word father still showed up. I just wiped some of the paint off so you could still read that. Just coloring the books here with some rainbow colors and then I'll color the pages with some neutral grays. I find that that makes those pages just kind of jump out and really pop. I did also have some questions about the funeral. It was a closed funeral. It was for intermediate family only and it was streamed for anyone else that wanted to watch it. It is very difficult to have a funeral this way. You can't see everybody. I have a lot of family that would have liked to come, but we only invited just my siblings and my mom's siblings. And so it was very small. I think that my dad would have loved a large funeral, although he probably doesn't care now, but it was beautiful, a very difficult day for me. Some days I still wake up and think that I might see my dad. So it doesn't really seem real. So that is another reason why art is so wonderful. This art journal is going to be for me, of course, the bear card for my dad. And I will display these for a while to assist in making me smile. I didn't have a hole punch for this particular book. So I went ahead and just marked on this page, it's the exact same size as my art journal page. I took it out of that mixed media book that I showed at the very beginning. And I just took my T-square ruler, drew a line down the side there so that they would all be even on that line. And then I'm just gonna punch these each out individually where I marked where the rings were. And you can see that it's going to fit perfectly in there. So I'm gonna keep this page as a template and that will be for all my future pages that go in this book. I think this year will be a year that I do a lot of art journaling and uh, art journaling is just very healing as well. And there's a lot of different techniques for an art journal which are very fun. So I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. I think my dad would enjoy this. My dad and I, we would paint together we did a painting together of a Hawaii scene with waterfalls and palm trees and they're framed and hanging in my mom's house. My dad just loved those paintings that we did together. I know that he would love these projects as well. That's another reason why I love this. So hopefully I'm brave enough and I share this video. It has been healing for me to just talk about it even and I hope that this helps you with healing or maybe you're going through some of these things as well. I hope not. If you're still here watching, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for the comments and the likes and for coming back again and again to my channel. I promise that future videos will be a little happier, a little more chipper, a little more sunshine. But hopefully you learned something today or got something out of this that will help you with your art journaling as well. I'm just using a finger dauber to create a white spot for my 2021. I've cut this out of some gold glitter paper and I'm just gonna stick that on. This is gonna be my very first page in my art journal. So that is a reason that I love this. I love all my rainbow books. <laughs> Notice I made my dad's books a little more masculine color uh, although he did have a lot of brightly colored books too, reds and greens. So I'm taking that template I made earlier, I'm just putting it on the back of this page, and I'm just going to trace around all of those circles, and then punch those out with my hole punch. 
is very simple to do. I'm doing this before I add the finishing touches, just so I make sure I don't smear the last things that I'm gonna put on here. And I'm using some unicorn stickles now to give it some finishing touches. I think books are magical. I'm adding the stickles to the hot cocoa mugs and also to all the books here and there, just a few lines on each one in different spots, just randomly. There is beauty in all of these books. Look at all the sparkle. I decided to tone down that, that silver metallics gel with a little bit of this sparkle as well. So there is a close up, you can see some of that glitter there. Some, I put some in her hair as well and up around all of that metallics. Really, really pretty. So there is our finished art journal. Here's our finished card. I think I'm gonna go back and highlight Father also on my art journal page. You can see that this is going to fit perfectly right in my binder. I'm gonna keep that template in there as well for my next page. So I'm not gonna put this in yet because it's still a little bit wet, but you can see that that's gonna show up really fun as the first page and it's nice that this is a clear binder so that you can see that and I, I'm i excited to keep that going. So here's my card for dad. Again, if you want to participate in bear cards for dad, please use that hashtag and tag me on Instagram. I would love it if you would participate. I've got 73 more cards to make. So thank you again for stopping by. I appreciate you so much. And if you have any questions, please drop them in a comment below. Again, I appreciate all your likes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next art journal page and card. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.